When you're trying to build an automated planting device, your device is going to need some sensors and it's going to need to perform some actions. Whether that's through a programmable logic controller or just an Arduino. So let's say you've figured out how to use your computer, logic controller or whatever to send a signal so that it waters your plant. Well, given a little sample of soil, how are you going to know that it needs watering? How are you going to know that it's dry? When do you water? We're going to use some electronics to help us figure that out, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so what's in front of you right now, and in front of me actually, is my development board for this project. My idea is that I'm going to build everything, well, every single thing, uh, not all at once, but every individual sensor and every individual feature on this board to test it. And once I have everything working to my liking, I'm going to integrate them all into one big system that does exactly what I want it to. Now, the device that we're testing today is the FC28, which it, I'm, I'm hard pressed to even call it a device because these are just two metal pins through which we can flow current. And you can tell that if you immerse this in your soil, current will be limited by the moisture content of your soil. So if your soil is very dry, current will not be able to flow from one pin to the other very easily, but if your soil is wet, it's going to have a way easier time. So we're going to need some way to connect to these pins, flow current through here, and then be able to measure the resistance, and afterwards we're going to be able to tell whether that resistance indicates whether or not we should water our plant at the current moment. Now, thankfully, I don't have to figure out how to send pulses through this to measure the resistance and all of that, because it comes with a little printed circuit board that does that for us. There's a microchip on here. I'm, assume, I'm assuming it's programmed to do the job well enough. So we can just connect to two cables, such as with the ones that you would connect to the spreadboard right here, except that these are female. You can just connect these two to this one, and this little chip here is going to tell us whether or not the soil is dry and needs watering. You can notice that it actually has four pins. There is uh, obviously a pin for a ground and for the positive power supply, but it has an A0 and a D0. Now, today we're going to be using the D0 pin, which is the dig... actually, it's probably DO because it probably stands for digital out. That means that this device can actually output the analog signal, which would be just, you know, the resistance that it meets, or a digital signal, which depending on the setting of this potentiometer here, is going to tell you whether or not the soil is dry in a binary format, so a yes or no signal. It's either high or it's low, and depending on this potentiometer, you can calibrate that to exactly how dry you want your soil to be at the moment that you water it. Building the circuit is relatively straightforward. It's actually so straightforward that I don't even know why I'm showing it. I filmed the montage, so I'm putting it in the video. Anyway, we only care about the power and ground and a signal pin, so that's what I'm connecting. Power obviously goes to 5 volts, ground obviously goes to ground, and my signal cable is being connected to the GPIO 14. Okay, so what I have here is exactly the same circuit that you saw me build earlier. Except for this Ethernet cable and this micro USB cable going from the Raspberry Pi to my laptop. Now I'm going to need to use this laptop to connect to my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to type in the default password because it did not yet change it. And we're in. I know that you can't really see what's going on on the screen right now, but it doesn't matter because you don't have to. What I've done is I've placed the sensor into my little jar of soil here and I have stolen, written, copied, whatever, a sample program to run this thing. I'm gonna go try and find it. This program, by the way, will be available in the description or on screen or I don't even know, it's gonna be available to you somehow. 
Now you can see that it's spamming out that moisture is detected. This soil is very dry. It shouldn't be detected. And that's where the potentiometer comes in because that calibrates when it's going to tell you that the signal is high. So when I turned it left right now, you can see the moisture is not detected. And so that sets the threshold for when this sensor is going to tell me that I need to water my plant. Now, if this is too dry, I want it to tell me that moisture is not detected. So for me to find out, well, for me to tell the sensor to tell me when to water it, I need to make my soil as wet slash dry as I want it to be when I water the plant. If that didn't make any sense, just follow along. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some water in here. It's going to be wet as hell. Now assume that this soil, and it's not, but just assume that it is, assume that this soil is as dry as I want my soil to be before I actually go ahead and water it. That means that I should turn it so that it just does not report moisture. So let's see if I can even find. There we go. Maybe I'm turning the wrong way here. All right, so right now it says the moisture is not detected. And I should twist it until it says that it is detected. Right there. Now if I twist it back until it says not detected, it should be right on the edge of where I want it to signal. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Now it's right on the edge where it tells me that as soon as the soil is this dry, it's going to say the moisture is not detected, and I will water the plant, and it's going to say the moisture is detected immediately after. And that's how you calibrate the sensor.